What's up, everybody? This is Ray, a little kitty bit. And Sashimi. And do you guys like to hang out in the hot springs or the steam room like we do? And if you do, do you like how you look in there? Ever wondered why we have these crazy little training versions <laughs> of the scout flies and the, uh, what are the schlingers? Schlinger? Well, that's because you can actually get this gear. So, uh, before we go and do this mission, though, uh, we're gonna die real quick, apparently. We're gonna stumble to the workshop and go over some prerequisites before we get into it. So with this quest uh, being, it's called the Treasure in the Steam, this one is a transport quest, which is one where you're gonna have to go and grab items and bring them back to camp. Uh, before we do these, you're gonna want to go to your armory, and if you hit R3, you can go to where you can, this, uh, you can bring up the skills. Uh, on. You can go to Pro Transporter, this is the one you want. This makes it so you move faster while you transport items, and when you fall or uh, land, it is much more soft, and you can actually take really, you can actually take more uh, falls. Without dropping your stuff. Yes, without dropping your stuff. So, uh, your options, there's not too many of them. You got the Kulu Van Braces and Master Rank, High Rank. Uh, you've got the Kulu Van Braces yet again, as well as Commission. And then for the head, you've got the, uh, I think everyone has this in their inventory. So, Pro Transporter on the Kuli Yaku head. Definitely the best option. Yes, also the cutest. Mm -hmm. I always use my gathering gear. Uh, you're going to want to bring flash bombs and dung bombs for this mission. Um, there will be monsters running around the map, and since you don't want them to be messing with you while you transport, if you actually come across the monster right before you pick up the stones, you can flash them uh, by yourself a little bit of time. That way you can get the stone out of there and away from them. There's also some food skills that you can get, if you're lucky, that might help. So check your food skills before you go into. Yes, if you're really having issues with this, the food skills are always a big help. This is an optional four star, and it is called Treasure in the Steam. So as you can see here, uh, this one is master rank 13 or higher. Uh, we're going to be out in the Hoarfrost Reach, but don't worry about hot drinks. These, the rocks we're getting will actually handle that. And we're going to need to bring back two of these steam rocks. You want to start off in, I recommend, Western Camp 5 for the easiest uh, trip there and back. So let's get out. Alright, we are now here at Camp 5. So where we're going to start is here at Camp 5. We're going to go straight out, take a left, and then go past the first hot spring up into this area, area 13, where this Legiana is at. Our stone is going to be right here at the northernmost spot. I don't know if y'all can hear that bird, but if you can, we're sorry. Yeah, we've got like a hawk sitting outside that's like, I don't care what you guys are doing. I'm going to sing for you. We could have just said he's endemic life, right? <laughs> so, you so basically immersive. just... Oh, <laughs> really immersive. It is going to run straight out from Camp 5. You'll see the other hot spring. You don't really need the hot drinks, like I said. Uh, it only takes like 20 seconds to run up here. Since this is a four star, that wall should be pretty much gone by the time you get here. Have your flash pods ready. He's not here right now, but there is a, a usually there's a, a Tigrex and a Legiana that likes to roam this area. So right here is your group of rocks. So just to give you an idea of Pro Transporter, we're gonna run back together. And we'll show you the difference. She yeah, if you wanna see if it's worth it. Yeah, Sash doesn't have Pro Transporter on, but I do. And also with Pro Transporter on, you can just hop right off this cliff and land. Look how graceful that was. Are you off the cliff yet? I'm not. Let me see. Oh, I didn't drop it. Your landing was a little bit harder, but... Pro Transporter makes this quest, like, all of, like, maybe two minutes to do. If you've got two players, you just each grab one. You'll want to run through here as quickly as you can, though. Those Wolgs... Uh, do not play around. They will actually juggle you back and forth and Pro Transporter will protect you from dropping stuff while you're doing little hit from little hits. But uh, you don't want to rely on it too much. 
Luckily you're going through first and getting the hate because I would drop it if they attack me. It's very true. So when you get back here to camp five, come all the way over next to the gate and you'll see these vines here. Don't forget you can sprint up the vines with the egg or egg. Uh, the stone. I'm so used to these being egg quests. The icon's even an egg. It is, isn't it? Maybe it is actually an egg. It doesn't really look like it's an egg, a though. Egg. I'm not sure if you can wear the ghillie mantle and transport something. Uh, you can actually. That's a that's it actually a really good handy. point to bring up. You can, if you're really having some issues, you can bring. Oh, Sash just got down to the bottom of the vines. So just to show you, pro transporter is key in this quest. Yep, I'm coming. Oh lord, she coming. Hey. I'd like to note when you have this look at the if you have the faux feline hat on when you drop off <laughs> when you have the steam Your effect you don't have it. Yeah, the, the the starry eyes on the faux feline are great. Oh I was looking at the layered set and I forgot to put my hat back on. I was gonna say you are not cat enough right now. Nope, nope. I mean Narg is basically a cat, but Yeah, close enough. I almost took it up in your shot. Man, that bird is mad about something. So we're going to be getting the Thermi tickets. That's what we're after. You also get a bunch of other like random miscellaneous materials. Let's head Crocs back. And bones. You only need two for this one. All right, two tickets. Let's head on back. Once you're back at the workshop, we are going to go into layered armor. And it is the Thermi set right on top. You're going to need two Thermite tickets, five prized pelts. You can get those from Anteca or from the, uh, the Popo and Pure Crystal. So let's go ahead and scoot our sails on over. As you can see, we are ready to go run about in the, uh, well, Sasha's ready. I'm ready to get out in the Hoarfrost Reach. I forgot to save the color. There we go. Look at that. We even get the trainer's, uh, schlinger and everything. There's Sasha's look right there. With her hunting horn that Oops. consumes her entire back. I switched over to the dual sword so you can actually see. Although there ain't much to too. see on my back. Oh of course, you can change your pigments on everything. I'm currently in rainbow. And that's about it, guys. So this is layered armor. You don't have to worry about affecting your stats. You can just go around looking summer fresh in the tundra. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it makes so much sense. Well, alrighty guys, hope this helped you out. If you are new to the channel, likes and subs are appreciated but not required. What we do ask for around here, though, is you consider, if it's within your means, adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google local animal rescue and adoption options near you. If you can't bring one home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can show your love. What are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, they can use all that kind of stuff. Yep, so if you've got love to give, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it, and there's plenty of animals out there who could use it. So guys, speaking of love, we love you, and we will see you next time. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. Bye-bye. Happy hunting.